Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing another palette resurrection video. This time with the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill original collab palette. I was going through my eyeshadow palette collection, and I'm probably gonna have to film another collection video soon, because I've got a thing for palettes. And I came across this palette, and I remember how much I kind of talk trash about Morphe in my weekly wows and personally I feel like this palette is where Morphe peaked because this is actually a good palette and for someone who drags and rags on Morphe all the time for me to like say this is an awesome palette yeah that being said it's still fairly big I do have an issue reaching for really big palettes and really small palettes so I thought this would be a perfect palette for a palette resurrection since I feel like the majority of people have kind of forgotten about it. So in this video I'm going to talk about my thoughts on this palette and do three looks including the one I'm wearing today. I love how this came out. I'm actually wearing lashes again for the first time in uh I don't even remember but it was such a dramatic look. I loved the colors and uh, I'm just uh, I'm just like remembering how much I actually love this palette. So let's go ahead and jump in. This palette, of course, if you remember, was originally touted as being a limited edition palette with Jaclyn Hill. It gained notoriety and became infamous fairly quickly, so it's still available on the Morphe website to this day. It is still listed for $38, and the description, I have to say I agree with it. Let me just read that to you real quick. This is not your average eye palette. That would be boring. We, and most importantly, Jaclyn Hill, don't do boring. This palette is a two-year love affair. Okay, maybe, I don't know if it was two years, but what the... 35 brand new OMG eyeshadows that Jaclyn whipped up, formulated, tested, retested, and perfected. They were created to deliver not only the best color payoff, but also amazing application. Agree. Matte, shimmer, satins, foils, and glitter, all pressed to perfection, just the way Jacqueline wanted. Her dreamy colors are now your reality. So whether you're pressed for time or have time to play, the palette is your new bestie, because a girl and guy needs to have options. So I have to say, I bought this, I believe, I had to wait for two restocks, because when this first came out, of course it sold out immediately everyone went bananas. It restocked, again, sold out in like two minutes. I purchased this directly from Morphe during the third restock and finally got my hands on it. Before this, I had owned one or two Morphe palettes. They are both kind of larger palettes. One I remember specifically was the 35K, which I remember when I first got into makeup drooling over that palette because A, I love coffee and it's called like the coffee palette, and B, I loved the blue silvery shades in it. I actually did a whole video where I basically like depotted and rearranged and recreated that palette. So I'll throw that up in the cards if you want to see it. Just forewarned, it's one of my earlier videos. So the quality isn't as great but i totally bought into the hype i was so excited for this even though looking at it objectively there's a lot of neutrals that being said i honestly think this is such a good go-to palette this would be a perfect palette if you are just getting into makeup and need to have an arsenal of shades not to say that you don't need this or couldn't want it if you're more into makeup and you have more shades. I honestly adore every shade in this palette. Personally, my favorite is that you're getting a, a range of like these brown, red kind of neutrally shades that you can really bump up to the next level, but they apply and blend out like a dream. Like this is why I think Morphe peaked here. Each one of these shades is gorgeous. They blend out so nicely. They don't give me fallout. I did this dramatic look and I really didn't get any fallout and I did my eyes after I did my makeup. I have palettes I love. My pan that palette. Sometimes if I'm doing a look of darker shades or something like that, I have to do my eyes first and then do my makeup because you're just going to get fallout galore. I really don't get fallout with this palette. Especially, so the one thing I hate is when I'm going in with a dark shade just to stamp on as a liner. 
And if that shade gives me fallout and I can't brush it away and ends up staining, then my face is ruined and I have to like redo my base makeup. I don't see that with these darker shades. You can stamp on this black as a liner. You can stamp on any of the dark browns as a liner. You can even go in for the colorful shades as a liner. I think that's really what pulls me back to this palette is that I have all of these shade options and that I know they're gonna blend out they practically blend out themselves. I don't know, like, I feel like this is the only palette from Morphe that I can see where the hype came from and that it's justified. Again, I think Morphe peaked here. I feel like their quality control, I feel like a lot of their things started going downhill after this palette. I feel like currently, like with the James Charles palette, with the, the Morphe or the, the Jaclyn Hill vault, I didn't touch that with the 10-foot pole, thankfully. I mean, I'm just really confused as to like what happened because this palette is amazing and then seeing where morphe is now it's, i will say i'm confused you probably couldn't pay me to pick up anything morphe has done recently but this palette i will recommend even though i can't really recommend a lot of morphe things i would recommend the original palette Maybe pick it up from Ulta so you don't have to buy it directly from Morphe because I've heard Morphe customer service is kind of garbage. Now it's available at Ulta and I think it has different packaging. There was a whole thing about how they redid the packaging because this gets dirty. Of course, it's a white palette with silver interior. It's gonna get dirty. Like like with the ColourPop Yes Please palette, it's gonna get dirty. I haven't seen it get too bad. This is what the palette looks like right now. And I stole this idea from Rob Rudy Christie. Booty. Raw Beauty Christie who put the card with all the shade names up here. Honestly, I didn't understand why people were like super complainy about the shade names not being on the palette. It, like if I'm doing a tutorial or with the looks I'm going to show you in a little bit, I'm not going to I'm not going to be like, "Oh, I'm going to go in with this one and then I'm going to do this one." It's nice to have, but I'm going to show you and I'm just going to point. And if you have the palette, you can look and be like, "Oh, she's using this one." Like, I don't understand why it was so hyped up that the shade names weren't there. Honestly, like, this solves your problem if you really want to know the shade names. So now that I've just exploded with praise about this palette, let's go ahead and jump into the three looks I created.
also those are all three of the looks I created. I did something super neutral all the way to like this glam green blue look that I'm, I'm loving. I'm honestly living for this look right now. I I'm questioning myself right now and why I'm not reaching for this palette more often and quite frankly I think the only reason is because of how bulky it is and how kind of a pain in the butt it is to just keep on my vanity because whenever I'm using an eyeshadow palette for the week I put it in front of my vanity I have like a little organizer where I hold all my palettes this one's huge and it's big and it's bulky and that's the only thing really keeping me from going back to this palette like really really often I've seen people depot this and honestly I don't know if it's worth the trouble so I think I'm just going to keep my palette as it is and go back to this video and just remember how much I loved it remember how great the shades are and remember that personally I can do amazing things with this palette and to not discount it and to not just keep it in my drawer because it's easier to store it there because these videos they really don't just help and entertain my subscribers and my friends they really do help me realize certain things about my collection and that, that might sound a bit odd and a bit funny but a lot of these videos really help me out like my empties videos help me realize what I'm using more often what I'm actually going through my palette videos really not only help me track how I'm going with my makeup and like the progression of my makeup skills but also what I'm reaching for and what I like and looking back on them really helps me curate my collection and become a more informed consumer so that's kind of what I'm hoping this video is going to do for myself as well just realize how great this palette is and how much of a gem it is and how much I really don't need to go back to Morphe for anything else because the rest of their stuff has been meh since they peaked with this palette so thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below if you guys have this palette and if you love it as much as I do and if you still reach for it because I see like every now and then a video pop up with this palette but not a whole lot considering how much hype it got like when it first released. Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.